Hi, uh, my name is Courtney Waylogie, and I'm a teacher at GS Lakey Middle School. And along with Sarah Williamson and myself, we created a diversity display that's out in our foyer, in our main foyer at our school. On May 26, 2020, George Floyd's death sparked a movement that shook our world views. And the Black Lives Matter movement had a resurgence that ignited a flame in me. And because of COVID-19 and a change in our teaching loads, I had some actual time to start my own research on the inequities within our systems. I knew that systemic racism was a thing and that I, as an educator, needed to know my own bias, recognize my privilege, and that I needed to do something. So I started following some sites and influencers and going down some research rabbit holes, and it didn't take me long to realize that the depth of my privilege and that I needed to use my role as an experienced educator and mentor to highlight groups and events that have been ignored for centuries. So I started conversations with colleagues and community members and found another passionate educator who wanted to give voice to our diverse community. And Sarah Williamson, who couldn't be here today, and I came up with this idea for a diversity display. And over the summer we met, we collected art, literature, and information. We researched and listened. And then when we came back with the help of so many others in our school, we came up with our display. Art for our diversity wall came mostly from amplifier.org, who provides free prints for educators to use to help create awareness of a variety of humanity issues. We also had lots of teachers pitch in some art that they had. We got inspiration for the idea from at Superhero Teacher in the United States, who does classroom makeovers and had a display just like ours that used QR codes that link to articles or videos to help students start their journeys into exploring issues. And that's what we attempted to do. Create a display that starts conversations, encourages deeper dives, and sparks questions. It also holds importance that students in our school and division see themselves. They see people who look just like them, holding places of importance, creating change, and having success in our country. It's not just about the negative history, but about the resilience and influence that everyone and anyone can have. We also have a rotating monthly display that has a more specific focus. This month, we are focusing on Indigenous cultures. We have information about Orange Shirt Day, which was September 30th, and residential schools. But we also have beautiful art from successful and affluent Indigenous artists. We have highlights on Canadian art and dancers, books written by Indigenous authors or highlighting Indigenous people as the protagonists of the story. And a big thanks goes to our librarian for helping source that. When putting this up, it sparked conversations with Jennifer Melting Tallow and Shawnee Big Bull, and we created a collaborative piece with all students from Lakey where they had to answer the question, how can we show people they matter? Which is really the question of reconciliation. How can we recognize and hear the stories that have been silenced for too long? And our students came up with ideas and images that they portrayed on a feather, which was then attached to the symbol of a medicine wheel. So why do I think this is important? I think it's important for all our students to see themselves, their cultures, their differences, their uniquenesses, not as things to be ashamed or hidden, but as something to celebrate and love. It's important that we as educators recognize our systemic racism that inevitably comes into play throughout our building, our curriculum and classrooms, and start to make an effort to highlight stories of minorities, highlight pictures and knowledge from our diverse student body, and we start to break down the politically correct system that we've been harboring and start releasing a factually uncomfortable place for discussions, stories, and questions. So I hope that students can take away that their stories matter and that they matter and that we as a community are stronger because we are diverse and we are different.